Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty, and I'm excited that you're here with me today to look at my Retin-A Cure. And you may wonder what I mean by Retin-A Cure. And what I mean is, for those of you who've been on Retin-A, it's the best of times and the worst of times, as they say. I have been on Retin-A about 11 months now. In one month, I will be on it one full year, and I have seen a lot of really positive improvements in my skin, and I'll link some videos below, which are my Retin-A use before and after pictures, the whole bit. It really looks good. But at the 10-month point, I got so frustrated because I went back into the peelies really, really bad. I remember I was on a business trip, and I looked at myself in the rearview mirror of my car, and it looked like I had a beard of peeling skin, and I thought, I am quitting this Retin-A. A, nothing is worth this. Well, since that time, I have discovered what I consider my Retin-A cure. And what that means is it's my cure for peeling skin and irritation to really give me a beautiful skin, a nice even toned skin, a younger looking skin, which is really why we want to use Retin-A in the first place. We don't use Retin-A to look like a peeling mess. We use Retin-A to make our skin look younger and healthier and dewier and glowier. And I will be 60 in about four months in April of this this year. That's going to be interesting going into my sixth decade. But if you'd like to come along on this journey with me to look and feel as good as possible, then click that little bell and subscribe. That just notifies you of all my future videos and you won't miss any of my anti-aging journey. Now I have other videos that explain totally all of the skincare products that I use and I'll link them below. But I'll show you my three-step process, my silver bullet to take care of Retin-A peeling and irritation. The first is of course, the step one is to use Retin-A. I have been using this 0.05 strength for pretty much the whole time. At one point, maybe about six months along, I got overly confident with this and I went up to the 0.1 and OMG. I don't know that I'll ever go to the 0.1. The 0.05 is giving me great results and it really helps me keep the peeling to a minimum. But the second step in the process is this wonderful little product, the Obagi Exfoderm. And what this is, it's a glycolic acid product from Obagi. It doesn't have any of the hydroquinone in it, in case you're worried about that. But what it does have is wonderful glycolic acid that gives you a wonderful peel. They call it Exfoderm because it's an exfoliant. And they have another product that's similar to this called Exfoderm Forte. However, I have not gone up to that, and this one does just fine for me. And this product, amazingly enough, they say to use it in the morning before you apply your makeup. However, it is too exfoliating for that for me. Every night after I do my skincare, and I basically wash my skin well, and then I use a series of serums, and again, I'll link that video below to show you what I do in terms of my skincare. But I put my serums on, and then I finish up with my Retin-A, and then the last step is that I use this Obagi Exfoderm. And I just use a little bit, maybe a pea size amount all over my face and then I go to sleep. And then it does its wonderful work during the night and peels off all of that peeling skin. And in the morning when I wake up, if I rub my hands on my face, I can actually feel that peeling skin peel right off. It's absolutely wonderful because you know that that exfoliant has really done its job. And at least for this day, you won't be experiencing Retin-A peeling in public. And so I do that. And then the next thing I do is that when I'm cleansing my skin and I use a mild cleanser in the morning, I use this, which is my Clarisonic. And it has the sensitive little brush head on it because when you're using Retin-A, you really don't want to give your skin any brush heads that are more irritating. So this is the sensitive brush head. And then I just use a little bit of cleanser. I use the Cetaphil cleanser. It doesn't really matter. You just have to have a mild cleanser. I will just use this all over my skin. I won't use it for the length of time that you would usually use a Clarisonic because with Retin-A use, your, your skin is more sensitive. So I just kind of go around each area just a little bit, just to make sure I feel like I've gotten off all those peelies, a little bit on the neck too. And this just removes any additional peelings that the Exfoderm has raised on your skin. And since I've used this three-step process, Retin-A, Exfoderm at night, Clarisonic in the morning, I really have good looking skin during the day, most days. And finally, Retin-A is delivering its promise to me, which is more dewy, youthful, younger looking skin not a peeling mess through the day. Now I'll put the links to these products below because if you're experiencing Retin-A peeling and irritation and redness, this may really help you too. Now, if you'd also like to go with me on my skincare journey as I get more grown up, shall we say, then I hope you'll subscribe and click that little bell. That just notifies you of my future video. That also helps you join the 50 plus beauty nation of women who are looking and feeling their best. Now, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day, and today is no exception. I've been going to these I Can Do It cards by Louise Hay. 
and I'm going to go ahead and choose one. Okay, now this is weird. I got the Louise Hay card like the instruction card, but I'm going to go ahead and read it because that's what I came up with. Dear friends, I've written these cards as a way to help you create joy in every area of your life. You can experience wealth, health, romance, self-esteem, job success, creativity, and a life released from resentment and pain. When you accept all parts of yourself, you become whole and healed. Opportunities are everywhere. We have unlimited choices. I invite you to create happiness, health, wealth, and a life full of self-expression. Every day say, I can do it. Then choose a card and it will be your positive message for the day. And that was from Louise Hay. She's a wonderful woman. She has passed to the other side, but thank you so much, Louise, because actually this is exactly what this channel is supposed to help us do too. Together, I hope that as we get more grown up, as we pass 50 and go into 60 and 70 and 80, I hope we can have a life filled with joy, health, wealth, success, self-expression, all of those things we went for in the first half, but in some ways may have been a little bit lacking for us. Because ladies, in this second half, time is short. When we were 30, did we ever think that we would, you know, be ready for retirement or 401k or that kind of thing? You know, my husband is 59 and a half and access is 401k that we spent decades thinking would never come. Here we are. And again, I'll be 60 in not too long at all. This card says opportunities are everywhere and time is short, ladies. What I'd like you to do is to comment below if you have something in your life you'd still like to achieve, some dream, just something, anything, because I think it would be wonderful for us to share that with each other and encourage each other and push ourselves along to keep dreaming those dreams in life, big or small. We're never too old to dream. Take care. See you next time.